Well, today's video is not going to be some cool how-to video showing you some new trick on powder coating, but hopefully it will save you some money down the road, or at least some time. I had this picture, I'm going to put it up here, from Jason Barnes on my Facebook page asking me, what caused this? And in the picture you'll see there's little bubbles all the way around the edge right in this lip area of his cup and I said I'm not sure I've never had that happen well I'm not kidding literally an hour after that question from him I was shooting a cup and as I was shooting the cup I noticed the powder was starting to darken right around this lip and I thought, what in the world? And so I, I stopped powder coating. I took it outside. I blew it off, got all the powder off of it, and noticed that it was wet. The places where the powder had darkened, it was actually sticking to the cup, and it was wet. And so I came to the conclusion that this seam is holding water. If you're, if you're using water to clean your cups before powder coating, even if you let it dry for eight hours, water can still get trapped in here. And I think on cups that are made well and have tight tolerances, it's not an issue, but I think sometimes the cups don't have as tight of a fit and the water gets trapped in there and the only time it comes out is once that cup is in the oven and it starts to turn to steam. So that's what happened on, on uh, Jason's cup and sure enough it happened to me when I was doing the powder and I caught it and then Andy who you've seen in some of the other videos, he's the gray haired one or white hair. Uh, Andy was doing this cup. I was at work and he called me up or sent me this picture actually of this cup and you can see here water was escaping from the seam here and it actually ran down here and took powder off the whole way down, ruined this cup, uh, ruined the powder coat I should say. The cup's probably just fine. The seam right around here is also blown out a little bit and so and, and again right here so even if uh, we were to uh, reuse this cup for something, obviously the way it is now, it's obviously not gonna be something somebody wants to use on a daily basis. So my recommendation is if you're using water or soap and water to clean the cups prior to powder coating, put them in the oven and uh, let them get up to the temperature where, you know, at least over 200 degrees where the water will have a chance to escape for a couple minutes. Let them cool back down so you're not powder coating them hot. You don't want the powder to flow immediately as you're putting it on. Unless you're used to doing it that way, I think that you're probably gonna have a lot of uh, challenges if you try to do that initially. Uh, you know, a lot of us are beginner powder coaters. I think that there's probably a lot of advanced powder coaters, the people that are professionally doing this for a living, who can get away with that and have learned techniques for doing that. I just feel like Putting it on dry is a really forgiving method. So at this point, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna stick with dry uh, and, and cold. And I hope that this tip saves you some time in the future so you're not having to uh, redo cups. And I appreciate you watching my videos. And I hope you're having a great day. Thank you.